Hello, this is Sweet June 2010. How's everybody doing today? I'm hurting, feet hurting, legs hurting. Pray for me, will you please? <laughs> um, I want to talk about, first of all, um, my heart goes out to the people that uh, the mass shooting victims down in Florida is just so sad, you know, the world that we live in. And my heart goes out and prayers go out to the families that lost loved ones in that shooting, you know. It's really, really sad. We're getting close to the end of the system and it's really sad. So I just want to lend my condolences um, to the families that lost loved ones and that was really really sad and um gonna have some prayers going out for them i want to talk about um um i want to address this video to the ladies um i want to state the reasons why a woman should not live or shack with a man outside of marriage. Um, you know, I talked about in my other video about celibacy. Um, I've talked about some of my other videos about celibacy. I've talked about waiting until marriage. I've talked about um, not having any children out of wedlock, waiting until marriage. Um, and um, you also, a woman, I think it's a, it's a very, very bad idea for a woman to live with a man outside of marriage. Um, first of all, um, Jehovah God doesn't approve of it. You know, he doesn't approve of uh, people living together outside of marriage, you know, the context of marriage. Um, but if you're not a religious person, you don't observe the Bible, you don't live according to the Bible standards, um, it's still, you still shouldn't do it. And the reasons why a woman shouldn't do it is um, particularly if you want to get married, like you're, you're in a relationship with a guy and you be with him for a while and, um, you know, then next thing you know, you guys start living together. Um, if you're really serious about the guy and you're really looking to maybe possibly one day get married to this guy and start a family, it is not a good idea to live with the guy first. Because, first of all, it's a pretty strong chance that he won't marry you if you live with him first. Now, there are some cases where people do get married after living together for so long. But if you desire to get married, um, it's not a good idea to live with the guy first. Because, um, you know, first of all, you're giving wifely ben benefits to someone that hasn't honored you with his hand in marriage. Hasn't honored you with a ring. You know, you're, you're giving your girlfriend... You have the girlfriend title, but you're giving away wifely benefits. You know? Um, I just don't think that's a good idea. Because particularly if you want to marry the man, then you shouldn't live with him. And statistically, they say the divorce rate is highest among people that live together first before getting married. I don't know why that is. You know? Um, I don't know if it's because people change, you know, after they get married, you know, or whatever. Uh, but they say that's st statistically people, uh, um, marriages don't last as long when people live together first. Um, and it's just not a good idea. It's just not a good idea for a woman to do that. Um, I, I, I've never, um, years ago I lived with my son's father and, um, wasn't a good thing to do um 
um, particularly if you want to get married, because a lot of times men, a lot of these men, you know, if they get used to you living with them, um, and that that doesn't motivate them to want to put a ring on your finger and want to marry you and want to make them you their wives. And men, they like a certain amount of challenge. They like, they like, um, men like a challenge, you know, that's just, you know, in their nature, you know, they like a challenge, you know, you know, you don't want to give a man access to your body like that on a regular basis. You don't want to be giving away wifely benefits. You're just a girlfriend, but you don't want to be given, uh, if you just have the girlfriend title, you don't want to be giving away all these wifely benefits to someone that's just your boyfriend and he doesn't honor you with his hand in marriage. So, um, it's just not a good idea. Um, now, if you are not like trying to live by Bible standards and you're not trying to get married and that's what you want to do, then, you know, you know, if that's what you want. But in most cases, um, a lot of women want to get married. In most cases, a, a woman wants to get married and start a family. In a whole lot of cases, women want to do that. So, um, and then you might not want to, you might not, that might not be your motivation at first when you first start living with the guy, but then later on down the line, you might decide that's what you want. And then what if he doesn't, you know, it's an old saying. Now, they people say that it's it's old school and it doesn't apply anymore, but I, I do believe that the saying still applies today. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? So, if you can get the milk for free, buy, why buy the cow? And a lot of people say, oh, that's, that saying is outdated and, you know, that's old school. I think that that saying still applies today. I don't, I, I don't think it's outdated and I think that that saying still applies today. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? You know? If he can get all the wifely, if he can get all the wifely benefits from you as a girlfriend, what is his motivation? What is his incentive to put a ring on your finger? What is what what motive, what's going to motivate him and what's going to give him the incentive to put a ring on your finger if he's getting if you're giving him wifely benefits as a girlfriend? You know, how is that motivating him to marry you? See, it's not going to motivate him to marry you and it's not a good idea. Um from a legal standpoint as well, it's it's not um, good to do from a legal standpoint because what happens is if you go to living with a man and you go to living with him for years and years, let's say hypothetically speaking, you move in with a guy, and next thing you know, you look up, you didn't you, you didn't you didn't live with him for ten years. If that man dies, you get nothing. You don't get his social security. You don't get anything because you didn't you wasn't his wife you know so from a legal standpoint um, even from a legal standpoint it's not a good idea to live with a, with a man before marriage outside of marriage um, because you won't get anything you know and um, so it's just it's just not a good idea I know that um, before I became a Christian um, I didn't I didn't want to do it you know I didn't want to like I said, I did it a long time ago, and then after that, I nipped it in the bud, and I didn't want to do it after that, because I figured my thought was, um, well, why am I going give to be, be giving you wifely benefits, and I'm just a girlfriend, and I, I me, myself, um, I frowned on that, you know, when I was out here single my years ago, when I used to date, before I became a Christian, and I used to date and everything and have relationships, I kind of frowned on that because I was like, you know, I, why am I going to give you wifely benefits and I'm just a girlfriend and you're not giving me, you're not honoring me with your hand in marriage. You know, you're not giving me, you're not putting a ring on my finger, but I'm giving away wifely benefits to you. Because that's what you're doing when you're living with a guy. You're, 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 you're acting you're acting my, my, my theory has always been 
why if I'm gonna act like a wife, I might as well be a wife. If I'm gonna do everything that a wife does, then I want to be a wife. You know, and if and I'm not gonna be giving you wifely benefits if you're just my boyfriend. Like wifely benefits, benefits meaning, you know, you you because if you guys are living together, you know, you cooking, you cooking. Um, I know I've always been a cooker, you know, I've always been a, a cook, you know, the type that would cook for my man. So if I had to live with a guy, I would be cooking for him, you know, every day, pretty much, you know, I'd be cooking, um, cleaning up the house, um, you know, um, he would have access to my body 24-7, well not, you know, not 24-7, but he would have access to it like a husband would have access to his wife's body on a regular base on a daily base well i had a serious issue with that because i said no i ain't you are you're not about to have uh access to me on a regular base you know and you're just my boyfriend and i kind of considered it a slap in the face because um for a guy to even want to think about living with me without being married you know, because I'm like, okay, well, if I'm going to give you wifely benefits, then I need a ring on my finger. If I'm not going to get a ring, then it doesn't make sense for me to give you the wifely benefits. And so you don't want to be, ladies, you don't want to be giving a man wifely benefits and you're just a girlfriend. You don't want to do that. You know, you just don't want to do that. It's not a good idea. And you don't want to do it, you know. Um, ultimately, I think um, now I'm not saying this is this is all cases because in some cases um, people do get married after living together for a while. But in in a lot of cases, you know, men don't marry the woman because he figure why he figure there's no motivation there because he figure he's already getting the wife you know wifely benefits. You're already giving him doing things everything that a wife would do for him so he figured what's the point i already you know it's just a piece of paper he's just looking at it as a piece of paper at that point and you don't want to do that you don't want to give a man you don't want to be that available to a man and give him that much access to you and you're just a girlfriend it's not a good idea he shouldn't have that kind of access to you unless he has a ring on your finger and that's just the way it is you know and if you're you a woman and you desire you're in a relationship and you desire to get married don't live with them that's the biggest mistake you can do you know um, don't live together you know um, like Steve Harvey says require him you have to require him to you know tell him hey this is what I want you know straight out and if you run him away well he wasn't the right man for you in the first place you know you know let a man know what you want I mean I'm not saying let him know right up front you don't want to let him know too soon but as the relationship progresses a little bit and then you kind of let him know that's what you want particularly if you want to have a family you don't want to be having a family with someone that you're not even married to and you shack it you know that's no good for you no good for him and it's no good for the children and it doesn't look good in God's eyesight God frowns on it but even if you're not trying to serve God it's not good for you because you don't have the title you've given away wifely benefits and you don't have a ring on your finger and all that and you don't have that ultimate commitment and um legally from a legal standpoint you're not going to benefit from it so it's just not a good idea it's just not a good idea to do that okay got some more good video stay tuned be sure to like this video and please subscribe to my channel got some more great interesting video topics coming up to give you some enlightenment this is sweet june 2010